At six, a lesson in diversity. A Chicago teacher is being criticized for singling out the only Muslim student in her class while talking about the Middle East. Good evening, I'm Rob Johnson. Anne is off tonight. The teacher's now been reassigned to another school. However, the young boy's family is demanding answers. CBS 2's Mike Puccinelli is live at Chicago Public Schools headquarters. Mike? Well, Rob, the family met behind closed door here at CBS headquarters for two and a half hours in a meeting presided over by a federal mediator. All sides have agreed to meet again next month. Now, the teacher in question is no longer working at the same school, but if the Pakistani-American family at the center of this story has its way, she might not be working much longer. He came home before he even took his backpack off. He had tears in his eyes already. Mohammed Chowdhury is talking about the day his little brother came home from school saying his teacher had singled him out in front of his class as an example of a terrorist. She said that she used the example of Salah going onto an airplane. She said if Salah were to go on an airplane um, and put his backpack down and put two wires together and the plane were to blow up and she didn't make a point. Saleh Chowdhury didn't want to go on camera to talk about the incident, which happened last April, while he was a sixth grader at Brentano Academy. But his brother says the 13-year-old's life hasn't been the same since. And everybody started seizing him and calling him a terrorist after this, the comments were made by the teacher. Within days after the teacher allegedly made the comment during a history discussion, the family filed a complaint with the Office of Civil Rights. Today, representatives from the federal government and the Chicago Public Schools met with the family and the Council on American Islamic Relations. The family does want her fired. They don't believe that she should be teaching students anymore. The superintendent of Chicago Public Schools says lengthy suspension or possible termination are on the table. Um, we have huge concerns about the conduct of the teacher. Um, from my standpoint, what happened is absolutely unacceptable, and we're looking at some very severe sanctions uh, because of that behavior. Now, as of right now, the teacher is still on the job, albeit at a different school. Now, the teacher's union says it will do whatever it takes to ensure that its members' rights to due process are fully enforced. They also question the timing of today's announcement coming as it does on the seventh anniversary of the 9-11 terrorist attacks, but the family says today was simply the first day when all the parties could hammer out their schedules and agree to meet. Live downtown, Mike Puccinelli, CBS 2 News. Mike Thank says you. his student, a student rather, says that his teacher used him as an example of a terrorist in his class. The child is an Arab Muslim and says he was intimidated and isolated from his classmates after the incident. Today, the boy, his family, and Muslim leaders met with school officials about the complaint. Good evening, everybody. The incident happened last spring at the Brentano Math and Science Academy in the Logan Square community. Well, the teacher is no longer at the school, but the boy's family says school officials must do more to keep situations like this from happening again. ABC 7's John Garcia is here with more. John? Ron, Cheryl, the boy's family is asking, among other things, that the teacher be fired. They say the boy, who was 12 years old at the time, suffered harassment as a result of a comment the teacher made comparing him to a terrorist. The family met with CPS officials this afternoon. It was last school year that his sixth grade teacher made the comment in class, but 13-year-old Saleh Chaudhary's family is still pursuing a resolution. It was in a history class at the Brentano Math and Science Academy in Logan Square that the teacher allegedly described a hypothetical situation in which Saleh would carry a bomb aboard a plane and blow it up. Saleh is the only Muslim, the only Arab in the classroom, and in using that example, she basically gave the go-ahead for all the students to begin harassing him. His family says the boy came home from school with tears in his eyes as he described the painful harassment he faced from other students immediately afterward. They went to the school's principal at the time, Georgette Watson, asking that the teacher be disciplined. Watson passed away later that year before she was able to resolve their concerns. Now the family and American Islamic leaders are meeting with the school board and a mediator to come up with a resolution. They want the teacher fired. I believe that's the severest and harshest punishment that could be given out, should be given out. Either she did it willfully or just completely uh, irresponsibly. And either way, it reflects uh, negligence to the extent that she should not be teaching in the Chicago public schools. The family is also hoping the school will provide counseling to Sala and sensitivity training to teachers. Late this afternoon, school CEO Arnie Duncan responded.
It's uh, very disturbing that this kind of thing would happen, and I just appreciate the family so much for stepping forward and talking to us about that. That takes courage to do that, and the only way we can make sure these things never happen again is by addressing them openly and honestly. Well, the teacher is still working for the Chicago Public Schools, but is no longer at Brentano Academy. Arnie Duncan says the board is working with the mediator to resolve the concerns. Their next meeting is scheduled for late next month. In incidentally, the family says it was just a coincidence that today's meeting was scheduled for 9-11. All right, John, thank you for that.